All right, church family, this is uh, the middle of January, and we're about ready to start a new sermon series in the book of Zechariah that will last us until um, the middle of June. And I'm super excited about this sermon series for a few reasons. First of all, I'm really excited about us just learning how to interpret the prophets. I mean, the prophets represent a third to 40% of our Bibles, the inspired Word of God, and it's most likely the case that few of us have had personal devotions in the book of uh, Jeremiah or Ezekiel recently. We often gravitate to the Gospels or to narrative or to one of Paul's epistles, and for good reason. Um, they're easier to understand, but I'm excited about preaching through Zechariah because I'm excited about us learning how to interpret the prophets, and I'm anticipating that in six months or in a year to come, having conversations in our foyer about how we're reading individually through the prophets and how we're being transformed. So I'm really excited to preach through Zechariah for that reason. I'm also really excited to preach through it just because of the content of Zechariah. Um, what we are going to learn in this book is this beautiful depiction of redemption that all hinges on a coming Messiah. And I'm excited as we see this glorious truth. I'm, I'm excited to see how our love for Christ deepens and our devotion to his word and our and our just passion to see the mission achieved just increase. So I'm excited to just learn the book of Zechariah with you. Now, um, I know uh, interpreting the prophets can be difficult, so uh, we have developed a few uh, tools to help you. Uh, the first tool is our personal worship guide. You'll see that we're encouraging y'all to read through um, Samuel and Kings and Chronicles individually. Basically, Samuel and Kings covers the history of Israel from the birth of Samuel to the exile. And the book of Chronicles begins with Adam, and it ends with a guy named Cyrus and his decree to allow Israel to go back to the land. And my reason for choosing these books is that I think that as we uh, read about the history of Israel in these important times, it will help us understand um, the book of Zechariah and how it fits in the time, uh, on the timeline of Israel. Another tool that we'll have for you this upcoming Sunday is a timeline. So I've given Akilah a lot of dates about the Old Testament, and she's been commissioned to make a timeline that shows us how Zechariah fits into the history of Israel. What does Zechariah have to do with Abraham? Um, was he a couple hundred years later or a thousand years later? How does Zechariah fit with um, Moses and the Exodus? How does it fit with the book of Daniel and Jeremiah? So we'll have those timelines available for you on Sunday. So as you come to each Sunday service, you'll have read a little bit of uh, the history of Israel and you'll have your timeline. And I'm really hopeful that these tools will increase our comprehension and our joy in studying this book together. Finally, I have purchased a few of these journaling Bibles. Uh, they'll be in on Sunday. Um, they cost us roughly $6, so if you want one, we'd ask that you'd, uh, you would reimburse $6 uh, to the church, and you could just put like a journaling Bible on it or something like that. And um, uh, if, if, if we, uh, I only purchased four, and if they're all gone, I'll purchase some more. And so if you found that helpful to just take sermon notes uh, in, in that Bible, uh, we'll have a few available for you on Sunday. I'm really excited about studying and preaching this book to you, and I'm just anticipating God doing a great work.